So there are our beliefs and then there are the beliefs that our higher self, our our greatest vision of our self that they are holding and and not only holding in the body but holding in the field and therefore the field reflecting back to us that which we hold and believe to be true. So then the question comes what do we do with the discrepancy between the beliefs that I have now and what I'm holding on to now versus where I want to go and where I know myself to be? That is what today's channeled message is really about. And we literally have a process for those of you who like the process, processes, processes, that of how do I do it? How do I line up? How do I merge these two? That is what we were diving into in today's channeled message and and they just brought through really beautiful examples to showcase this. So wherever you are, just inviting you to take these few moments for yourself. Simply taking a deep breath. And with that, let us dive in. What are you willing to give up for what you desire? For many, you say you want something and yet you are clinging on so tightly to your reality, to the outdated beliefs, belongings, paradigms, and confines you have built and believed and have had in your life. It is time for many to wipe and clear the slate clean. to re-envision what you truly desire to bring forth into this next chapter with you. What beliefs, ideals, belongings. Imagine for a moment you're going on a trip. You wouldn't want to pack your entire home. You'd simply pack what you needed, the essentials. You certainly wouldn't pack old clothes in the back of your closet that you never wear or old belongings in the back of your pantry, or expired condiments or produce in your fridge. None of these would be worth carrying along on your travels. And yet, many of you are still desiring to bring expired and outdated beliefs and belongings with you into your new reality and trajectory that you now sense, know, and feel is happening and transpiring. So, what is the solution? This doesn't mean to throw out everything in your life, all beliefs, belongings, and cherished memories, but rather take inventory and get very particular about what you feel is supporting you and what feels as though it is weighing you down. This can be physically, mentally, emotionally, energetically. For example, a belief many grew up with or received at one point in time is of not enough. Not enough love, resources, trust, confidence, assurance. And while this may be perceived as a deficit, it is actually taking up precious energy within the body, within the mind, and within your field. The energetic weight of this weighing you down taking up space where you could have something far more beneficial. The key here is to not simply throw out the belief, but simply ask, why am I still holding on to this? Why did I ever believe this to be true? Who told me this was the way it had to be? What does carrying this belief with me today still serve? And as you do this, as you bring this belief from the back of the closet and pull it out, pull it into the forefront and you simply witness it with loving awareness and curiosity. And now, from here, simply holding it with this loving awareness and curiosity. From this place, you as the alchemist, architect, 
magician, and co-creator with spirit. You now have the power to transform this energy into one of power, strength, love, trust, courage, and fortification. Whatever feels appropriate and conducive to you and your experience. Transforming this energy into something that serves, inspires, and creates the dreams, desires, and reality you know you are moving towards. Shifting these beliefs as a form of creativity, understanding, and love. Not something to throw out into the garbage bin, but to catalyze into a new beautiful energy to serve you in your here and now endeavors. You have been taught that beliefs must be hard to shift, take time and a level of mastery. And yet, what we wish to offer is a simplification, a trusting that you have been equipped within you all the power, strength, courage, and all that you need to shift any and all beliefs, if you so choose. And so, get curious as you project and see where you know yourself to be and see now where you are here and now. Witnessing the beliefs, stories, paradigms, or contradictory energies between you and where you desire to be. And as you lovingly bring them forth to the surface, allowing them to be made new, you, as the alchemist, wizard, creator, and divine co-creator, alongside source have the power to shift and transform these breathe in this power strength and divine love within you that all you desire is here and now and nothing can hold you back from it so it shall be and so it is.